it is amazing that a new theory can come up, which is called the gender theory, uh, which says you can choose your sex. It is a question of our freedom, our liberty, to choose whether we are men and women. This sounds very crazy because we all know we are defined in our biological sex. Everything is defined. We are, we are different in, on all levels. And there's this theory of we can choose. Uh, so change our sex. The woman who developed that theory into a philosophical system, her name is Judith Butler. She is an American professor and philosopher with a very high status. She teaches in California at the Columbia University in Switzerland and gets awards from the, she's a member of the Rockefeller Foundation, so she has the greatest possible influence. She wrote a book which is called Gender Trouble, Subversion of Identity. That was published in 1990 and she develops that theory saying she actually put this term gender into the center. Uh, we sex, our biological sex is irrelevant. Uh, our gender, the social sex, what we are in society is all constructed by society. So if it is constructed, of course we can deconstruct it. If we are unsatisfied with being a woman, let's be a man. Uh, this is very mad, uh, but the amazing thing is gender theory is being taught at university. In Germany we have 200 professors for gender theory. They are all women, nearly all women, who teach this kind of outlook on what it is to be a human being. We should know a few facts about transgenderism. It is still classified by the World Health Organization as a psychosocial disease, as a dis maybe not disease, as a disturbance. Uh, still on the list of diagnoses as a serious psychological condition. It is still there, so the insurances pay uh, if you want to have an operation or if you want to have, train your voice from high to low, if you want to have therapy for this. The facts say that the suicide rate and the rate of attempted suicide of transsexuals is 40%. It is much, much higher than suicides and suicide attempts of uh, heterosexuals. So apparently it does not work if we do not accept our biological gender. We have to accept a lot in this life. We have to accept suffering which comes over us. We have to deal with it. We have to accept all sorts of things. Why not teach people, why not use our therapeutic skills to find out what is the cause of this disturbance? and find healing for this kind of disturbance. Now what we see is that this small minority is being used by the political organizations to proliferate this theory, you can choose your sex. And it is already going into the schools. In the United States, they had for many years, they had a school, a school day, maybe even a whole school week of coming out for homosexuals. Now they have the same wave as beginning for transsexualism. They give children buttons. Do you want to be a boy or do you want to be a girl? I think this is criminal. I think this is really doing harm to children and uh, surveys of course show uh, that the confusion of what I am what is my identity? If you confuse this, you lead people into psychological disturbances. We should not do that.